Hello lovelies! If you're new here, welcome to my channel, and if you're returning, thanks for coming back. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below and the little bell that will send you notifications when I post new videos. I try to post at least once a week. I have a young baby who is two months old now, so sometimes that doesn't always happen, but I do try. Said little man is actually with his dad tonight playing Dungeons and Dragons, so I have time to film some videos. I'm going to talk about my May favorites. This one is going to be short compared to last month's video, only because there wasn't really anything this month that like super wowed me. Um, I just, there wasn't anything that blew my mind and I was like, I have to talk about this on YouTube. So I have a few things here that I thought were really cool, but they're not like life alteringly amazing. So the first one is the, the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Prime Set Refresh, this whole like setting spray here. And I'm actually, I just started using setting sprays. I've never used them. And um, I like this a lot. The only trouble I'm having with this is that it always like Fs up my concealer under my eyes. Like it makes it run. And I don't know if I'm just spraying too much at once or I'm not holding it far away enough from my face but in general I really like this both as a primer and a setting spray it seems to make my makeup last a long time um, even though it's like 87 degrees here right now and I'm like sweating and I really really enjoyed using this this month the other thing that I just love love loved was this color maybe this did blow my mind a little bit um, this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the color, um, in the shade between the sheets, and it's a cream blush. You can see that I'm making some progress on it there. This is actually in one of my project pans, but this is just a beautiful color, and I've, I haven't used a lot of cream blush either. I tend to gravitate toward powder blush, but this is really buildable and gorgeous, and I've really, really been enjoying using this, if you can see it there. A little bit on my hand it's just a nice subtle color and I like the formula of these a lot so I'm definitely going to be purchasing these again in other shades of course not like I mean I would definitely repurchase that one too though I also was really impressed with this Urban Decay Naked concealer little sample that I got from Ulta. Um, it was in some kind of gift bag kind of thing, like spend so much you get a gift bag. I have never used their concealer before. I really love this. Um, this is in the shade Light Neutral. And this was just really nice. It doesn't crease under my eyes. It's very brightening. So I was pretty impressed with this. And then I also have another blush, which is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. Not only does it smell really good, like all of their butter products, but this is another really subtle buildable blush that just has a really great formula. I loved using it this month. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera because it's so subtle. It's definitely more visible on the cheeks. I just put like a crud ton of it on my hand. Um, but it's right there in the middle of my hand if you can see it a little bit. It's very pretty, it's just like pinky and nice. I also was pretty impressed with this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Uh, I had heard good things about the Essence Mascaras, but I had never tried them. This I really love, it's not clumpy, it really extends the look of my lashes, like it just, it's just a pretty mascara. And I actually just finished my Monsieur Big mascara from Lancome which is like my most favorite mascara and this is pretty close as far as like how much I love it. Um, I was really really impressed with this and if you see me looking off it's because I'm checking on my pet rats to make sure they're not doing like evil evil things. Um, they get a little mischievous sometimes. And then these aren't new to my collection and they didn't so I can't say they blew my mind this month, but they just kind of blow my mind in general. Like I love that they exist, but these are just a sampling of the many custom palettes I have created with these Coastal Scents palettes. Uh, the shadows in here are mostly Coastal Scents, but there's also a mix of ColourPop and 
Morphe shadows in some of these, but the coastal scent ones are just like absolutely fantastic, like friggin' fantastic. They just have such a nice formula and there are some that are misses. They're just kind of, they just kind of fail to be awesome. But for the most part, these are really beautiful. I love using them. Um, this palette that I put together, that's very peach inspired because I'm obsessed with like peach everything. Um, th this palette that's like peachy and awesome is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because I'm working with lamps tonight. I broke one of my umbrella lamps taking headshots for work. Um, I just knocked it over and it like busted and I can't tell if it's the lamp or the bulb that is now broken. So yeah, I'm down one light. I need to order some more lights because they were really cheap on Amazon, but it just wasn't really what I wanted to spend money on. Here's a cooler palette that I did. I wore this earlier today. Uh, yeah, I put on makeup twice today because I have a night to myself and it was fun to play with makeup. But yeah, those are those are kind of the only things that were really, really impressive this month that I was wowed by. So not a lot this month, but enough. Enough for like a short video and I make a lot of really long videos. So I think it's okay to have a short one once in a while. Let me know in the comments what you have really enjoyed using in May. Let me know what you would recommend for me to try, especially if it's from any of these brands that I've talked about. I'm always up for trying different products within the same brand or similar products in other brands. So just kind of let me know what's on your mind. Let me know what you've been trying. And please, again, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.